All right, we've got three down. Three little sailor boys down. We got, what, six left to go? Something like that? I think I might have got my numbers wrong at the end of the last one. Because technically we're not a party to this. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a chat with everybody about the general. The general just died. Where were you during the half hour in question? On the front patio, knitting. I'd been there since just after breakfast. You spoke with me there. Okay, we saw true. her too after we'd searched the house. Thank you, Mr. Lombard, but I feel bound to add that there were many stretches of time throughout the morning when I was quite alone. Who else did you see? Almost everyone at one time or another, I should think. I saw the general walk off along that path towards Ship Rock. A minute or two later, Miss Claythorne headed in the same direction. He went to the beach. I climbed the rock. Rogers was also. also near me for a time, sweeping away some of the debris on the patio from last night's storm. Very tidy chap, that Rogers. I don't know if it's important, but I heard someone up above me near the telescope. But I don't know who it was. Good evening Ooh. to you, Miss Brent. Someone by the telescope, huh? That's an interesting detail. What do you make of that, Wargrave? Where were you during the half hour in question? After the Doctor and I finished our game, I had a look around the library. I'm surprised to say I found one of my own books in there. <laughs> I, I found wonder that too. which of the previous inhabitants of the island it belonged to. Why not Owen? My dear Mr. Bloor, it was perfectly clear to me some time ago, and after your search, you must realize now as well, Mr. Owen yes. is on this island. He, or she, is one of us. Yes! No, no, no. Of course he is. is. This is no time for refusing to look facts in the face. We are all in grave danger. One of us is Mr. Unknown, and Mr. Unknown has no good planned for us. I'm a well-known professional man. The mere idea that I could be suspected of murder is preposterous. Okay, you've already I killed too one am a well-known person. That, my dear sir, proves less than nothing. <laughs> Doctors have gone mad before now. Judges have gone mad. Wargrave so telling it straight. Okay. So I'm glad that we're on the same page now, though. The question is whether or not whoever you and Owen is has faked his death or if he's actually still alive. Because I feel like the smart thing to do would be to fake his death and be one of the first guys out. What do you think we should do, Judge? Be on our guard, especially at night. I'd suggest prayer. I'm not adverse to prayer, Miss Brent, but I would supplement it with a locked door. All right, things are heating up. I am grateful for your assistance, Judge Wait, Wargrave. Th there's something else to ask. Anything else you'd like to add? Yes. I've been asked why I trust you, Mr. Narricott, our odd man out, to lead these informal inquiries of ours. It is very simple. It is clear to me that Mr. Owen had not planned on you stopping here on the island with us. Unless Bloor is Owen. That's true. That we could be Owen. Doctor. An attempt has been oh, made on your life. Bloor. So he says. Right now, there is no one I trust more to get us out of this predicament. Brutally spoken, Judge. I know you'll pardon me for saying this, but if you are Owen, you might want a bumbling amateur on the case more than a professional like Bloor. I would hope we all answer Mr. Bloor's <laughs> questions with equal candor. Oh, Too right. Thank you kindly, Judge. All right. Things, this is really starting to take off now. Who do I think is un-Owen? Damn. It's hard to say. I don't think it's him, and I don't think it's the judge. If it's the judge, that'd be crazy. The doctor's too much of a nothing burger. I feel like it's none of them. This whole thing could be a red herring. I don't know. Let's speak with Bloor. Where were you during the half hour in question? I won't deny that Lombard and I had split up by then. I was just wondering, collecting my thoughts, you might say. Oh, yeah. How did you come to find the body? I'd seen the old gent down on the beach when we searched the island. He seemed pretty confused. I saw the storm coming on, knew it was almost supper time. Thought I'd collect him. See anyone else on the beach? No, no one. And a murder weapon by chance? See anything of a murder weapon? Plenty of solid Devon rocks about. I didn't see any blood, but the rock could have just been tossed in the surf. One said he'd stay right there, and then there were seven. Thank you, Miss Claythorne, for again <laughs> calling our attention to the rhyme. It is significant without a doubt. Six. There's, uh, no, there's seven One now. dead yeah. from having choked himself. Another overslept herself. 
Now a third wishes to remain in Devon, and his wish is granted to him in a most final manner. Thanks, Blor. Damn, man. Hey, where's Rogers? Rogers should be in this room. You're not Rogers. Rogers is looking kind of sus now since he's not here. What were you during the half hour, Lombard? Where were you during the half hour in question? After Blor wandered off, I went back to that ruined fishing village. It seemed the most Ooh. likely place for Owen to be hiding. When the weather closed in, I made a dash back here to the house. Find any trace of Owen or anyone else on the island apart from us? No. I wish I had. Hmm. Anything else you'd like to add? Anything else you'd like to add? Not at the moment. That'll be all, Mr. Lombard. All right. Vera, then. What does Vera got? Where were you during the half hour in question? Up on Ship Rock, where we spoke. The entire time? Yes, until the wind came up. I thought I should get back before the storm. You could see the beach from where you were? I spent most of my time on the far side of the summit. But I did move to a position above the beach once or twice. I saw you talking to the general from there. Yes. He seemed to know he was going to die. He Who seems like he's known that for years. you were swinging a rock at his head? <laughs> he was quite alive when I left him. Did you see anyone else on the beach? Yes, I saw Philip. Mr. Lombard and Mr. Blore walking up the path from the beach. But that was earlier. There must be a significance to us having given the general that walking stick. But I can't figure out what it is. Maybe that was the murder weapon. Anything else you can add, Vera? No, nothing, I'm afraid. Much obliged for your assistance, Miss Glaythorn. Okay, and doctor. Fill me in, doctor. What's the cause of cause death? Cause of death, doctor? The back of his skull was crushed with a blunt instrument. Yeah, it was the cane. Damn. Damn, I had not realized that. <laughs> Could the general's death have been an accident? It was not an there accident. There were multiple wounds. Unless you repeatedly slam the back of his head against a rock, I think we can safely rule out accident and suicide. Which confirms what we've all come to suspect. The first two deaths were undoubtedly murder as well. Yeah. I concur. I concur as well. Time of death? Only a few minutes before he was found. Not more than 30 at the outside. Oh, okay, there's definitely a sea cave. There's totally a cave in that dark part of the beach, which is how the murderer got in and, and out. Without a doubt in my mind. Do you have an alibi for that period of time? Why, the judge and I were playing snooker. That's Forgive true. me, Doctor, but you went up to your room, if you'll recall. And oh, of course, of course. For a moment or two only. Good evening, Doctor. What was he doing in his room, though? Now is not the time for chatter. Well, I want to know what he was doing in his room. You can't just leave a detail in like that. I mean, he obviously wasn't down at the beach if he was just up to his room. Unless he went out the balcony, like how Miss, uh, whatever her name is, said that he, she heard. Hey, it's Rogers. Uh, tell me where you were, where buddy. Where were you during the half hour in question? Mostly in the kitchen, sir, preparing dinner. I also washed dishes, swept the patio, where I saw Miss Brent knitting. Quietly cleaned the game room so as not to disturb the doctor and the judge. Made the beds and chopped some more firewood. I appreciate oh, no. your candor, Mr. Rogers. No, 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 no. Don't chop any more firewood. If I may sum the up, poem mentioned this. we're trapped on this island at least till Monday morning. One of us is most certainly a homicidal maniac. None of us has a clear alibi for the time in which the general met his death. Have I forgotten anything? Yes, it's storming again. <laughs> this is true. This might be a good time to explore the house unhindered. Yes, more unhindered exploration. Okay, now, not to say that I'm telepathic or anything, but the next verse on here, after Seven Little Sailor Boys... No, no, Seven Little Sailor Boys, the verse is, Seven Little Sailor Boys chopped up sticks, one chopped himself in halves, and then there were six. So, that is not a good omen for Mr. Rogers right now, who is currently in the act of chopping firewood. I'm, I would probably guess him to be the next one to go. mysterious ways than you can ever hope to uncover. Perhaps, Miss Brent, but I'm still willing to have a go. Who do you th oh, oh, this is interesting. Now we can start asking people who they think it who is. Who do you think the killer is? Very well. I'll humor you. Mr. Bloor seems the most likely suspect. Why? He's already admitted he's checked up on all of us as part of his supposed job for Mr. Owen. People uh. with secrets, especially those with secrets concerning possible murders, don't make their complicity common knowledge. It would take a man like Mr. Bloor to ferret it out. 
I'll let you have it, that's a good explanation as to how Mr. Blur would be the murderer, but not why. He doesn't have any motive, and he certainly doesn't come from that great of a moral background. I don't think he's so high and mighty to pass judgment on everyone else. Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim might be? Forgive me, but I doubt he takes you very seriously. That leaves the judge as the biggest threat. Yes, if I were the killer, I'd go after the judge next. Thank you, Miss Brent. Mmm, I'm calling cap on that. It's gonna be Mr. Rogers. The poem said so. <laughs> okay, we'll go look at that ham radio later, because that is totally gonna be how we, uh, you know. It's gonna be how we unlock, or how we get into contact with the island. Um, well, hey, that was an interesting conversation, because now that we have people split up, we're actually talking to them genuinely. Rogers, what are you doing staring oh, at a door? Mr. Narakot, you startled me. Sorry, Rogers. Uh, what are you doing? Rogers, what are you doing? I've already locked the door between the kitchen and the dining room. Ah. No one will be able to play tricks with those sailor boy figures tonight at any rate. Good thinking, Rogers. That's a nice touch. Who do you think the killer is? Miss Claythorne, of course. Why? Ooh. She brought the rhyme to our attention. She seems innocent of her crime. I think it's just a blind. I'm also kind of suspicious of Miss Rogers. I'll let you have that one. Uh, I mean, you're innocent of your crime too, aren't you? Unless you would like to say anything. Aren't you innocent of your crime? We're not talking of me, sir. And she's the least likely suspect with drunken doctors, wily judges, religious zealots, cowardly hunters, and you, whatever you are, running about. <laughs> Usually it's the butler who's the least likely suspect. <clears throat> but it's the I butler who always does it! That. Okay. Not where I come from, sir. That is kind of suspicious. Uh, and who do you think is going to get the axe next? Wink, wink. Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim might be? <laughs> Miss Claythorne. But you said she was Mr. Owen. Did I? Then Miss Brent. Why? There's something terrible about her. There's hard steel under those Why did he get clothes. himself messed up? Mark my words. Owen would do well to polish her off before she gets her knitting needles into him. Very kind of you to give me your time, Mr. Rogers. No, 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 no. He just slipped up there. He said some shit that did not make sense. That was pretty suspicious. I'll give the man a little bit of leniency because his wife just died. But I got my eye on you, Rogers. If you're not dead by the end of this episode, then I think I'm going to have some suspicions about it's you. It's tightly locked. Oh, that looked suspicious, us trying the door. We probably shouldn't have done that right after he left. <laughs> okay. Uh... I'm not necessarily sure where everyone else might be, so I'm just going to go ahead and try everyone's room, and I'll cut back in if I find people. Whose room is this? Is this... Come here, Mr. Narakot. Ah. Don't be shy. It's only me. Judge. I Come thought I'd find dead, you somewhere judge. weird like this. In a way, the law is much like necromancy. We delve. The dead give up their secrets. What has General Mackenzie told you? Notice the picture of his dear wife. Leslie, I believe he said her name was. The glass has been smashed. Has perhaps it? Perhaps by the same blunt object that did for the general. But why? If we knew that, we might be further along in our inquiries, don't you think? If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say it has something to do with love. It's one of the prime motives, you know. Greed, revenge, and love. Love has killed as many as either of the other two. Whoa, wait. So this is an extra touch, then. None of the previous murders had something personal happen, at least nothing that we noticed. If the portrait was smashed, then maybe... U.N. Owen was an associate of the man that the General had reportedly killed. I'm kind of detecting that maybe Owen personally knew everyone who had been killed. Kind of like a Orient Express kind of twist. So now we just need to find the common thread between everyone's stories. Who do you think the killer is? Lombard is a man used to killing. He freely admits it. It could be a classic double bluff, plead that he is guilty so that we assume his innocence. He's used to taking matters into his own hands. If he suddenly decided for whatever reason that ten people had to die, I doubt he'd sit still for natural causes. That's true. Lombard is a bit unscrupulous when it comes to murder. Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim will be? If I were you, Mr. Narakot, I'd watch my own back. Bloor is all bluster. I'm past my prime. 
Armstrong is easily manipulated. Miss Brent's Bible provides all her answers. Miss Claythorne is like a deer caught in onrushing headlights, which is why I suppose you and Mr. Lombard find her so attractive. <laughs> you don't miss much, do you? I miss nothing. And if it doesn't seem too egotistical of me, I can't help feeling that Mr. Owen knows that. Even intended this mystery for me. Why, I can't say. But he didn't count on you, my young friend. I'm hoping that together we may yet thwart him. I you am got one thing wrong, Judge. Judge Wargrave. We like Vera because she doesn't wear a bra for some reason. Okay, let's have a look at this painting. It appears to be a portrait of the general. Must be quite old. He's standing with a very young woman. It's signed, To John, My Husband, Leslie. This is definitely the work of the cane. The cane was definitely used here. So we kind of like were an accomplice to his death then, at least unknowingly. The body was thoroughly searched. No need to disturb it now. Surprised that pillow's not stained if they really bashed him in the head like they said. Okay. We'll keep on moving then. Hey, we found the, the doctor. What's good, Dr. Doc? Armstrong? What? What? I must say, I don't think much of this barging in on people when they... when they are... <sighs> ministering to the sick? I don't find that amusing, sir. Not in the slightest. Dr. Armstrong, if it will relieve your mind at all, I don't think there's anyone alive on this island who truly believes you are a teetotaler. Somehow that doesn't relieve my mind one bit. You protest too much, then eye the drinks tray as if it were mana from heaven. You sneak <laughs> off to your room to freshen up every chance you get. All right, Mr. Narakot, you've made your point. What oh, do you want? That's why he went to his room during the snooker. He's, he's feeding his drinking habit. Okay. Who do you think is the killer? Miss Brent, knitting, always knitting, like Madame Defarge in A Tale of Two Cities. I can see Miss Brent. Madame Defarge knitted the names of those destined for the guillotine. Revenge, sir. It seems an apt analogy. Also, I don't much like Bible thumpers. <laughs> That's true. Have you any proof? Proof, sir, is for the police. I have a doctor's instincts. My instinct tells me that anyone that self-righteous and repressed might easily turn to murder. What did she call Mrs. Rogers' death? Ooh. An act of God. Yeah. A woman like that could easily cast herself in the role of God's sword. Miss Brent the Archangel. Ooh. Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim might be? No idea, but I assure you I plan to see it as not I. Better lock your door then, Doctor. I walked right in. Good evening, <laughs> this is, Doctor. This is true. Uh, give me one second. I actually was also told that we can give the tobacco pipe to the Doctor and something might happen. This is neither the time nor the place. Okay, that maybe I was mistaken. I guess I was mistaken. Maybe I give it to somebody else. We still need to find Lombard and Miss Brent. Those are two we haven't spoken to this episode. Or at least not since we split up. Okay, I think I've already been in that room. Let's have a look. Maybe in the library? You know, I do like to think that we are not personally at risk of being murdered. Simply because we aren't a part of the plan. So... You and Owen would have to break from his neat little sailor boy rhyme if to he was going to kill us. To go out in that storm now would be reckless and foolhardy. You know, I don't think we ever went through the store. Maybe there's something important outside of it. We'll try next time the storm breaks. The drawer is locked. Okay, so we have a locked drawer there, and we have a locked door out in the snooker room. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's just make sure this door is still locked, because this is one of the only doors we don't know what's behind it. Oh, it's open now! <gasps> Lombard and Vera, you wouldn't dare. What about what we had, Vera? <laughs> no! No, it can't be! Maybe we are you and Owen. Let's kill Lombard now. What's going on in the movie? It's like Dust Booth or something. Candy, ice cream. The next feature will be beginning shortly. Dust <laughs> Maricot. <laughs> we can't blame him for snooping about in the dark, Vera dear. I'm afraid it's in his nature. Uh, I get Are you fucked. looking for us? For you, certainly. I was just looking for Lombard, actually. I don't give a shit about you, Vera. And who do you think the killer is? Wargrave. The recording called us prisoners at the bar. The Man. whole plot smacks of a sense of criminal justice gone mad. From what Vera tells me, he let that Seaton chap swing just for the jollies. Wargrave's my bet. 
No doubt about it. That's interesting that Wargrave said Lombard was the most suspicious, and Lombard said Wargrave was the most suspicious. And yet they are both my favorite characters. Now I'm gonna have to start playing favorites. Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim might be? Well, if I were crass and selfish, come to think of it I am, I'd pick you. I don't much like you, Narakot. I don't much like you neither, bitch. <laughs> the swine has his sights on you, Vera, if you'd only see it. He doesn't deserve you. That'll be You're all. You're talking a lot of one. shit for a man with a gun. <laughs> ah, the movies. Ah, the movies. Yes, yeah, so this is a movie theater. Lombard is picking fights where he doesn't have to pick any, and I am not a fan of that. Man's got a pistol, he doesn't have to talk tall. The Queen's handmaiden, Gabrielle Steele. I find her style slightly histrionic. <laughs> ah, the movies. <laughs> ah, the movies. Hmm. Last of the Borgias, starring Gabrielle Steele. Never had the pleasure. Wait, it's all Gabrielle Steele movies? Ah, the movies. <laughs> ah, they're movies. That's a funny reaction. Film reel. Ooh, wonder if there's like a back reel on it or something. Don't we have a light bulb? Desk lamp with bulb? There. Back to their original state. Hey, I was just kind of dicking around there, but I was able to take the light bulb out. Can I put the light bulb that in That isn't going to help. Okay, no, I can't. Well, uh, we have a light bulb now and an empty desk lamp. Film is running, but nothing's being projected. Film is okay. running, but nothing's being projected. Let's keep our eyes open for a film reel, because I'll bet that Mr. Ewan Owen would love to store one of the... Well, what do you know? A film reel. And it looks like a flash bulb. Really? On God? Just like that? Untitled reel the of film? film? has been spooled. Okay, I think this is probably going to be one of Mr. Ewan Owen's special little secret movies that he mentioned. Which means that... Uh, what does it mean? I'm trying to think of how to put that in context. We may not want the other people in this room to see this, but we're going to anyways. Okay, actually, maybe it's just nothing. This would probably be a, a different movie if it had sound. Looked like a home movie of some sort. Home movie. It's probably a big piece of evidence then. Oh my god, there's so many film reels locked. here. And that one's locked. Okay. We just got three more reels of film. Let's watch all these. Empire Studios film canister? This is neither the time nor the place. I won't do that. Perhaps Wait. another time. What is a film canister? Is this just to store it? I think that's what it is. I can't get them to fit. No, what about this one? They don't get along. Okay, I'm a little... A little stumped then. Uh, let's have a look at the BBC news the footage again. Film has been spooled. Filatosa, Corsica, May 18th, 1938. It's some sort of naval battle. So this isn't even a movie. This is real footage of, like, a submarine getting blown up. And they were getting all huggy-kissy to it. <laughs> okay, then. Hmm. Interesting film. Can't make heads nor tails of it. Oh no, I didn't mean to replay it. Hmm. Okay. Interesting film. Can't make heads nor tails of it. Okay. That home video it's locked fast. is probably a huge piece of evidence. But for the life of me, I cannot figure out why. It's gotta be We don't recognize the man in the in the movie, I don't think. It's probably a previous ah, owner. The movies. Ah! The movies! Um all that's left is Emily Brent. She's the only one we haven't spoken to. We just gotta find her. If the dining room's locked, maybe we should go all the way around to the kitchen. I like that this game has had consistently new music per chapter. Helps keep the pace feeling a little more fresh. Okay, where's Miss Brent? It's a sturdy cast iron stove. A sturdy cast iron stove. So it's this is locked, right? locked. Yeah, I thought so. There are windows in that dining room, though. If Mr. Unowen wants to snap off those uh, sailor people's figures, then he'll do it. Here's the body. There's nothing I can do for the victim now. Okay, Mrs. Rogers. 
Where is Miss Brent, though? She's actually running out of places to be hiding. Oh, Bloor, what are you doing in the bathroom? How goes the investigation, Bloor? I forgot about Better you. Better than yours, I'll wager. <laughs> Piece of Who shit. Who do you think the killer is? Rogers, of course. In my experience, okay. it's almost always a servant. And he's the only one still standing. You and I are Rogers kind of on the same page. seems like an open book. He may have had a motive for killing his wife, but why kill the others? The judge thinks it's a maniac. That's motive enough. Even uh. maniacs have motives that make sense to them. Perhaps. That's true. Not being one, I wouldn't have an opinion about that. All right, and so who would you say the next victim Any is? Any idea who Mr. Owen's next victim will be? I'm the biggest threat to him. Ooh. A professional investigator. He's lucky he's gone undetected this long. I'm closing in and he knows it. That'll do, Mr. Bloor. If you're so confident that both you're going to be killed and you know who the murderer is, then maybe you should clap Mr. Rogers in some irons. I totally think Mr. Rogers is going to die next. <sighs> but I also think he's Mr. Owen, so like... Maybe it's a fake death. Okay. Where else could there be people? I think Brent is the only one left. It's got power. But it still doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Um, can I put the light bulb in here? I don't think that's appropriate. No, okay, I don't play with ham radios very often, so what belongs in this piece? Pack of matches, bunch of flour, ink stamp, patch of tobacco, bucket, apples, desk lamp, sellotape. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like we don't have it. Brent! Wait, were you the first one we talked to? Passed. Oh, god, I'm an idiot. I thought we talked to Vera first. It must have been Brent. Okay. Um. Well, we've talked to everybody. Now we are awaiting the Sailor Boy's verdict. Sounds like I actually made a mistake earlier, and that I wasn't supposed to give the pipe to the the lawyer, or the doctor, there is no lawyer, but I was supposed to give it to the judge, actually. So he's in the room with the dead man, I should be more specific, the third dead man, uh, the general. Give me a second, I'll find his room. It's not this one, is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so I can give him the pipe, apparently. Here we are. Although I don't condone smoking, who am I to judge a judge? <laughs> So, he has his pipe now? Are you sure you can't tell me what you were hinting at about Marston's politics? Yeah, actually, I'd, I'd be interested to see what he has to say about this now that we found that coded message. Are you sure you can't tell me what you were hinting at about Marston's politics? Marston's family was furious with him for becoming involved with a London group enamored of Mr. Yep. Hitler's expansionist policies. That sounds about right. It's always sad when the younger son of a great family goes astray. Thank you kindly, Judge. All right. I have more important things to do than chat. So is the way this works is when we give somebody something, they can give us a special piece of dialogue. So I don't think we would have gotten that out of the judge unless we were to have given him the pipe. Very interesting. The question is what else can we do to everybody else? Because, um, you know, the general, we gave him his cane and maybe we did it a little too late. So I'm starting to feel like that may just be entirely optional. Okay, so I became hopelessly stuck for a good 10 minutes playing this game, because it turns out that there are actually a lot of puzzles that are optional, which I'm actually a huge fan of. I love the idea that there are things in the game that reward the more inquisitive players who find out more. But I did need a little bit of a pointer to figure out what direction I need to be moving in, and I think I finally found it. So, for one thing, I might be using a little more hints now so that I can get most of the content possible in this game, because there is a lot that I can do. But... For right now, there's a couple of secrets hidden in here. If I'm not mistaken, I need to put these books I back in the I shelves. I could be imagining it. Though. Yeah, that's it right there. So I need to put these books back in the shelves where the color coding fits. No, wait, that's wrong. Why did I do that? <laughs> so I would not have figured this out. I thought there was something inside the books that was important. I could be imagining it, though. 
So it was never anything in the books that was important, but just where you put them. That isn't going to help. Okay, wrong book, apparently. I'll go fuck myself. And a secret passageway. What do you know? Oh, damn. Is that a bank vault? British Admiralty, South Devon testing site, Rule Britannia. It's a shortwave radio. It could be useful if I could get it working. It seems to be missing quite a few parts. Well, we've got a ham radio just in the other room. Although that won't work. There's a note on the seat right here. What does this say? Oh, it's a card. This bears a closer look. Ah, Owen, you piece of shit. Talk is cheap and rumors can be ugly. Keep your secrets safe. Okay, I'm assuming this is the safe that Marston and his Hitler's youth sent him the combination for. Uh, let's make sure we get this right. Documents. Marston's telegram. No, 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 that's not it. Um, decoded letter, that's what we want. Left 28, right 11, left 49. Okay. I think I read in the guide. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let me just read that one more time to make sure I don't mess it up. Left 28, right 11, left 49. So. Okay, 25, 26, 27, 28. Left 28, right 11, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. And then all the way over to 49. God, I hope I remember how to use combination locks correctly. I think I heard a click. I could be imagining it, though. How about you try the handle and see if it works? <laughs> it's open. Nice. Okay, we're into the vault now. Wait, actually, I should have a closer look around this room. Boxes. There's still things in here. Nothing of use in them. Okay, so there's empty boxes. No, 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 no. Go back. Uh, boxes. How about over here? Nothing of use in them. Okay, it's really just boxes? Boxes. Nothing of use in them. <laughs> Boxes. Okay, let's get back there. Huh. There's a sleeping bag in the corner. Eh, what is this? There's something in this drawer. It's a fragment of a document. Are these like... the positions of the two drawers. Lock deposit boxes? Torn corner this of a legal document. This a closer look. Okay, um... There's something in this drawer. It's a card with some writing on it. From you and Owen, no doubt? Okay, we're finding a lot this of shit now. This bears a closer look. Row your boat gently down the stream, unless it's a fishing boat and the sea is mean, unknown. Okay, this is... I'm really starting to like this game more, because I thought that it was going to hold my hand the whole way through. But no, there are a lot of secrets that you can find if you go off the beaten trail. That's very nice. There's something in this drawer. It looks like some sort of microphone. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought it meant like a, a hot mic. No, that looks like something we can use to fix the radio. Okay. Keep checking the different boxes. There's something in this drawer. It's a lone raven-shaped earring. Raven-shaped earring? I can't see anything of interest. That is weird. So this is like a filing cabinet or something? Okay, and everything, of course, has a weird letter on it. Uh, it must be an anagram of sorts. What can I spell out? I see the word last. I can do that easy. It looks like it's three four-letter words. Here, I can spell here also. Uh, the V is going to be tricky, though. Maybe there's maybe there's no significance at all to the letters. Give me a second to look at this and see if I can make any words. Okay, I'm not certain about that, but there's some other stuff in here. Okay, what do we need a sleeping bag for? Oh, it's a raft. Nothing else to see about that. It's an inflatable raft. Can we can we I blow it up? I can't take that apart. Oh come on, I've I've blown up rafts before with just my lungs. To, granted, it takes a long time. This is a puzzle. This has to be a puzzle right here, and I'm going to be on the lookout for a series of words that might be the answer. 